for us. Everyone is present or anybody is blocking apply? No issues. No issues. So, uh, friends, brief myself. My name is Ravikant. Ravikant Rela. I'm your uh, senior mentor. So, I was uh, giving you a course for a complete package for Selenium automation, like Java, Selenium, DevOps, framework, and project. End to end, I was going to uh, deliver for you batch. So, um, most of the people will have a question. Uh, who can take this course? Who can take this course? Selenium automation. Yes, the people who are freshers, the people who are experienced, the people who are non IT. Yes, any kind of people are eligible for to take this course. Okay. And next question is, what is the prerequisite to take the Selenium automation? Yes, some programming knowledge is like required for to take this Selenium automation. Yes, what kind of languages? Uh, the Selenium supports means it supports Java, C sharp, Ruby, Python, R language, R language, Dart, Scala, PHP. Uh, P okay, what is that? Uh, R language, Dart language, Scala, PHP, uh, Go programming, Haskell. Etc. Etc. Many more languages are supported uh, to work with the Selenium tool. Selenium is a tool which associated with some languages. Any one of language you prefer uh, uh, to develop your uh, using Selenium automation too. So as this course is uh, designed for uh, Java with the Selenium, so we go first with the core Java. Hello, ma'am. Uh, uh, well, Today night, uh, friends, can you please 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 so first we'll start with code Java because uh, if you want to become as a good programmer, if you want to become as a good automation engineer, you must be technically sounds good. Technical in the sense, what what language you are using to fill your automation scripts, that language you must be uh, perfect in that. So I can show you the official website for Selenium will be the Selenium dot dev is an official website. So here the group. In the banner we can see Selenium automates browsers. That's it. What you do with that power is entirely up to you. Friends, Selenium is an automation tool which automates browsers only. Browsers means web applications. The applications which are open through browser, those are called web applications. So my Selenium 100% automates only uh, web applications, not a window desktop application. That's it. Selenium automates browsers. That's it. What you do with that power is entirely up to you. The power is nothing but not a boost, not a multi. Yes, the thing is, the power of that is for Selenium is language binding. Any one of language you can prefer uh, in knowing the concepts that we can using the Selenium tool, we can build any automation scripts. So we prefer Core Java as a, a base programming language for work with Selenium. Yes. What concepts in Core Java will be learning? Yes, so we'll be learning about what is a project, what is a package, what is a Java class, interfaces, abstract classes, method overloading, overriding, overriding rules, polymorphism, constructors, loopings, decision making statements, single dimensional array, two dimensional array, user defined array, if conditions. Okay, uh, switch cases, decision making statements, loopings, scanner classes, variable types, data types and its default values, type casts, Java inheritance, access, non access modifiers. Okay, now strings, uh, Java strings, uh, debugging, exception handling, collections, file systems. All these concepts will be covered. 
What are the concepts I, I have delivered right now? Each and every concepts we are, uh, will be uh, has the uh, knowledge on it. So after completion of this Java only, we'll go with the Selenium because what to do, when to do, how to do, if you know, know the concepts of core Java, how can you build that? So here, Banner, it was clearly saying that what you do with that power is entirely up to you. The power is nothing but uh, the program knowledge. Whatever the program you selected to build your Selenium automations whips on that program, core, core OOPS concepts must be aware of it. Even if you want to become as a good programmer in development aspect or testing aspect, uh, programming knowledge is must that too. OOPS concepts, any programming language, uh, OOPS concepts is a basic OOPS concepts is required to work with the Selenium. Okay, now, so uh, here friends, uh, uh, I will give very clear picture on each and every concept in Java concepts, whatever I, I have discussed right now. Uh, I'll give the concept and I'll give some assignments, um, pro references for practicing the programs. And technically, you must be sounds good means not knowing the, knowing the concepts. You must be also aware of doing the programs also. Okay, now, I'll make hands free uh, how to work with programs also while giving the concepts. And after that, um, one more struggle people will face uh, like uh, troubleshootings. Okay, once you know the concepts, where to do, how to do, when to do, when you come to know, then you start writing the programs. Okay, uh, yes, uh, when you write the programs, when we uh, run the programs, there is a chance of occurring of runtime errors in the runtime, right? So we would we would have to uh, um, diagnose that. We have to diagnose it where exactly the issue was. So most of the people will uh, struggle there itself. And he's seeing here and there who will support us. So don't take anyone's support friends. It just make friendship with the debugging. Okay, <laughs> so debugger is one of the components uh, uh, where it supports to debug that, uh, supposed to debug that your test case steps. Suppose we have 20 lines of, uh, 20 sequence lines uh, of one program is there. Suppose in 20 lines, uh, suppose at particular eighth line, some issue occurred, uh, where it is, what, what it is, we don't know. So exactly we have to find where it is exactly. So while debugging step-by-step -step execution only, we'll come to know where exactly the issue was. We can troubleshoot easily. So how to debug the scripts also, I will tell you that. So I'll tell you the basic concepts of uh, language and uh, I'll give some assignments and I'll, I will make you understand how to debug the scripts um, step by step, everything, I'll give a very clear picture on it. So once after completion of Core Java, then we go with the Selenium automation tool. Of course, we have various automation tools that are available in the market, but Selenium has become more popular uh, so it's a user friendly and we, and, uh, we have so many components, uh, third party tools are, which are supported to build a Selenium day to day. Yes, let me show you that. Friends, in Selenium is a tool which has some components, which has some components. Selenium web driver, Selenium ID and Selenium grid. Of course, we also have Selenium RC also. RC means remote controller, okay? A web driver. ID, grid, RC, but RC got deprecated friends. Only the three components are available in Selenium. Selenium web driver, Selenium ID, and Selenium grid. The first first component in Selenium was Selenium IDE. So Selenium ID, if you want to work with a, not required any programming knowledge. Uh, what I said, Java, C, Java, Ruby, no programming knowledge is required when you're working with the Selenium components uh, IDE. It's a just a record and playback tool. It's a just a record and playback tool. Just you record it. Whatever steps you are supposed to be do before doing that, just start recording and do operations, whatever you want to do. All the statements will be recorded. The last thing you stop it. Then you play it. Record and playback tool. Just record, do transaction, stop recording and playback. Record and playback tool not require any programming knowledge. By default, the backend, it stores that recorded steps as a HTML format. Okay, now, uh, but it's not this way. Uh, Selenium ID will be used for pilot projects for getting instant results in producing uh, client for instant results. ID is the supports in case. Real time, we never use ID friends, just for to show the instant results to the client. If any new project comes, Okay, as for pilot projects, we prefer as an ID in saving the time in producing the instant results uh, in showing to the clients. 
Okay. So, um, and next up uh, here, what we recorded uh, the statements in one browser may uh, sometimes not work in other browsers. And some of the elements may not recorded uh, using Selenium ID. So these all drawbacks as considered and they have introduced one more component as Selenium Web Driver. So where if you want to work with the Selenium Web Driver, where we must be aware of any one of these language bindings, any one of language bindings, you must be aware of it. And using any one of the language binding, we are going to be build a Selenium Web Driver scripts. A robust browser-based regression automation suits and tests uh, we can build uh, by using the Selenium Web Driver tool. Where ID will record it only in one browser, execute in one browser. Where in Web Driver, um, uh, we can build in one browser, can execute in n number of browsers. That's what we. If you want to create robust browser-based regression automation suits and tests. Uh, then we go with the web driver. Developer one driver, one uh, browser, web driver browser. You can execute in many browsers. Okay, fine. Once you build your uh, Selenium web driver scripts, uh, okay, you respect browsers. Yes, then the same scripts you are supposed to execute for many platforms, OS, and many browsers. How can we execute the single script in executing in multi platform OS and multiple browsers parallel? With the help of the Selenium grid component. Okay, now if you want to scale by distributing and running tests on several missions uh, and manage multiple environments uh, from a central point, uh, making it easy to run, making it easy to run the tests against the vast combination of browsers and operating system, then we have to use the Selenium grid there. So developing your automation scripts using Selenium, we use Selenium web driver by using any one of the language binding. That developed automation scripts, uh, we are supposed to scale and distribute uh, in executing in many computers, many operating systems, many browsers with the support of the grid concept. So the appropriate combination for Selenium was web driver with the grid, which develops Robust browser based regression automation suits and tests uh, by using grid, uh, which scales and distribute in executing your developer scripts uh, parallelly in many operating system and in many browsers uh, using grid concepts. So, the appropriate combination for Selenium was yes, it was a web driver and uh, okay, now this combination we use for Selenium. Friends, Selenium is a free, it's an open source. It's not a paid license software, it's an open source. There are so many, uh, some automation tools are there which are paid one like UFT right now, what we are talking, it's a paid license tool, automation tool. But whereas Selenium is an open source. So it's a non-profitable organization. Selenium was a non-profitable organization like you and me can contribute uh, uh, any uh, suggestions, any course, any you want to develop, you can be a, one of the sponsor level in the Selenium. You can take a, a membership uh, in a Selenium. There are some so various categories of sponsorship levels are there. Suppose you are the company XYZ, uh, you want to sponsor to the Selenium. Yes, be as a part of the Selenium. As a, uh, There are some uh, platinum and gold like these sponsorship levels are there. Be part of that with your company and, and contribute something for the Selenium uh, where we can contribute some, we can develop, build some codes. Uh, improving day to day the selenium. Likewise, here there are see there are so many sponsor levels are there. As I said, it's a non-profitable organization. Selenium tool is a non-profitable organization. There are so many uh, levels of uh, sponsors are there. They are sponsoring and they are building that selenium day to day. Selenium level sponsors. Browser stack. These are the companies or the selenium level sponsors. If you go down, support the selenium project. What? want to support the Selenium project, learn more, or view the full list of sponsors. If you click on learn more, you can see uh, not only Selenium level sponsors, we have um, we have uh, gold level sponsors, which is a micro focus organization, silver level sponsors, these are the companies uh, listed, and bronze level sponsors, these are the company listed. These are all companies together uh, sponsoring the Selenium to grow day to day. 
Would you like for your company be listed in this page? Just click on learn more about sponsoring for Selenium. So these are some sort of some conditions that are given like CEO. So if you want to be a sponsor, any one of the category, what I shown you, Selenium level sponsors, you have to pay twenty thousand dollars. Platinum level sponsors, ten thousand dollars, like this. If your company wants to be part of the Selenium, being as a sponsor, any one of the category base, yes, your wish, you can be the sponsor level for this. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Mr. Mack. Yes. So, friends, we're getting some noise. Uh, can you please don't mind the mute? Yes. Open us. Okay, I'm muting you. So, fine. So, uh, Selenium is an open source tool, free tool, uh, not required to purchase any license. There are so many sponsor levels uh, teams out there. They are sponsoring and building the Selenium day to day. So what are the components uh, available in Selenium means? Selenium web driver, Selenium ID, Selenium grid, and Selenium RC. Four components are there. RC got deprecated. Only three components are there. Uh, where the appropriate combination for Selenium was Selenium web driver with the grid. Using WebDriver, we build a robust browser-based regression automation suits and tester by using Selenium WebDriver. After developing that, we scale and distribute in executing the developer scripts parallelly in many operating systems and many browsers are the support of the grid. This is the appropriate combination for Selenium. Okay, now? So what are the components? What are the what are the what are the uh, what are the concepts we, which we cover in the Selenium means? Let's uh, come to the uh, uh, yes, into this document. Yeah, let's have a glance. What concepts will be covering? Yes, we we see that uh, how to launch uh, various browsers and how to make the browser launching program dynamically because launching a browser is a common functionality for every test case. So how do we launch uh, various browsers uh, and adding the um, uh, jars dependencies? Okay, all those things we'll see that. And next, coming to that. Uh, option classes and uh, uh, profiles concept because uh, when we are running your test case through manually means uh, uh, everything even presence will be there if any source stoppers comes like notifications proxy settings any um, certificate errors any information bars kind of things anything occurs when you does manually your intervention will be there you can handle that but when everything we are going through automation means so everything is automation engineer responsibility. If any notifications comes, you must handle through automation. Any certificate errors comes, you must handle with automation. Everything is automation engineer responsibility. So what we can do? We have to take the browser into our control because uh, inform uh, like a um, like a uh, what is that? Um, um, Information bars, notifications, all these comes through browsers. Certificators, all these comes through browsers. Information bars, all these comes through browsers. Maximizing the browser, all these comes through browsers. Everything needs to be handled mm, through uh, Selenium only on browser, whatever the activities appears when we are running through automation. So in that case, we have to take the browser into our control. We have to versicate the browser into our control. So how can we take the browser into our control means uh, by just creating our user defined browser profiles while creating our user defined browser profiles, we can take the browsers into our control. So how do we create a pro user defined profiles for Chrome, Firefox? I'll show that once we take the browsers into our control using the options class, Chrome options class, Firefox options class while using that uh, respect to browser corresponding options class, we can handle like information bars and maximizing the browsers, disabling information bars, notifications, page load strategies, certificators, proxy settings, what the, what, whatever we can do with the uh, browser manually, the same thing we can do with using options class. If you want to necessary settings, first of all, you have to take browser into our control just by creating our user defined browser profiles on that 
user defined browser profiles using options class we can do necessary settings okay and next come to the synchronizations friends are there you know that scripts will be very fast in execution where application elements loading will take more time to load it will be some delay time to load that any element if you are putting the target to do the action and load time will be very um, slow so where there is a chance uh, failure of your script uh, script is fast application load time is very slow so there is some gap is there where our scripts are getting failed we have to put some synchronization between your application web elements and your scripts so where we use some synchronization methods like thread dot sleep implicit wait explicit wait so how we can sync that too we'll see that and next come to the locators friends sir uh, if web application has uh, so many web elements like text box radio buttons check box uh, links drop downs okay uh, web tables web calendars what not so many elements are there in your web application how do i interact them how do i interact them then how we can interact means same simple example friends we are the human beings we want to identify any person what we will do what will you do friends if you want to identify any person what will we do if i want to identify any person what i will do friends tell me if i want to identify any person what i will do how can i identify the person identification or id yes what is the identification generally if i want to call you what i what i prefer to approach you with what reference with what property i will approach you name name, name right name is one property of course not only name every person has some set of properties uh, starting from baby coming from mother womb first if any baby come from the mother womb what we say hey, baby is very handsome very colorish uh, names are very length long like this we say and like height weight the color complexity next aadhar card number next namakarna we do first name last name nickname right uh, if he is staying in us means ssl number if he is eligible for if he is eligible for what Record, okay. SSL, okay. If you're looking at employee means employee ID. All these are properties. All these are the properties for the persons. Of course, based on the situation, we'll use that property. Suppose the person is working as employee means. Uh, so, uh, what is the reference to identify that person there to calculate the salaries? If being as employee, I want to calculate employee. salaries. Employee is a unique ID for identifying the employees for getting salaries. We are uh, contesting in elections. Uh, what is the identity there to identify you as a citizen of India? When you are contesting, uh, that is a voter card, right? You must be eligible. Yes. You must be registered as a voter. You must be a member of right, which is which is like voter card we call. Suppose you are purchasing any electronic goods. What is the identity there? Other card number, right? What? Other. Card. Yes. So, uh, based on situation, we are using the identity. So, every person have identity properties. By using that unique identity properties, we are identifying the particular object. Similar way. in our web application also we have so many web elements are there how do we identify the web elements every web element have some set of properties like how human being has id name class name xpath css link text password and text tag name like there so many properties are there attributes by using these identical properties we are interacting the web elements so especially on locators we'll talk like 6 hours because most of the people will struggle on and working with locators only and in that especially expert css selectors how do we write a customizer two days we'll be talking on it out of six days out of six hours four hours is basic understanding of locators and rest of two hours will be working on writing our own experts and own css selectors dynamically we'll see some examples also in some applications marvin project 
So this is a build tool. In real time, if any project you want to build, we're using some build tools. Of course, we have so many build tools. Ant is there, Marvin is there, Gradle is there. Of course, Ant is deprecated. Now, right now, Marvin and Gradle, these are the build tools where we can build any projects. So uh, we'll be using the Marvin build tool. How can we build our projects? How can we add the dependencies? How can we add the uh, configurations? Okay. How can we uh, run the goals? Okay. How to, how to run your uh, uh, project uh, through Marvin build? Okay, now through Palm XML, all those things will start in the Marvin build projects and test ng framework. Friends, uh, Selenium itself uh, don't have any built-in frameworks where test ng is one of the Java defined framework. The test ng is a Java defined framework. Uh, so using the test ng framework, we are building our projects. In test ng, mainly we use the uh, annotations. Uh, uh, before annotations, uh, after annotations, test annotations, listeners, data providers, we have so many annotations are there. Everything we build through annotations, execute through annotations only. Okay, now, so here we'll, 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 we'll see that how to create test ng classes, uh, what annotations uh, uh, takes place executions, if we have more annotations. Uh, if you don't want to execute particular test case, how do we skip it? How do we set up priorities uh, when we are ex executing the multiple test cases? How to run your test cases parallelly? How to set the test dependencies? How to group the test cases? How to work with the listeners? How to work with the data providers? How to report it using assertion classes, soft assets, and hard assets? And we'll do one small pilot project in a test ng framework. So end to end test ng will be working for nine hours. Any project will be use the build tool Marvin and framework as a test engine. Without this, we never build any programs, any projects. And come to the uh, page object model. Page object model is one approach where we, how we organize the pages. See friends, if you're talking about a web application means, in our web application, we have a number of pages. Together pages we call as a one website. Yes or no? How well you organize the pages. Okay, instead of maintaining complexity in the pages, we so we, we make a breakdown, the pages. Each page contains some web elements and some operations. Page level web elements and operations, we, we organize in separate Java classes. 10 web pages are there, 10 Java classes. Okay, so all these things we see that friends. So automating links. So majority of the web elements in your applications, we can find the links. A static links will be there, dynamic links will be there, broken links will be there, hidden links will be there. Okay, now, how do we interact with links? A single link or group of links in a page or specific header portion links, how do you interact? All these things one fine day will talk about automating links. And coming to the automating dropdowns. Yes, in dropdowns where we used to select the option, single option and multi options. How do we select the options in dropdown in various approaches? Using by send keys, using by select the class, using by JavaScript executors, using by action classes. How do we select various options in dropdowns? You see that. And coming to the pop-ups. So some of the pop-ups will appear when we are running your scripts, like a security pop-ups, JavaScript pop-ups, HTML pop-ups, Windows pop-ups, Various pop-ups will be uh, occur during executions and stops your executions. How can we handle various types of pop-ups in automation? We'll see that. And come to the actions class. Some of the elements, some of the advanced elements can't be interacted directly with the web driver. In that case, we will take a support of the actions class. So here, mouse hovering elements, right-clicking, double-clicking, chain actions, dragging and dropping elements, automating slide bars, like this kind of advanced elements directly cannot be performed with the web driver, then we'll take a support of the actions class. We'll discuss all those things. And JavaScript executors. What, how, how we write a web driver scripts using Selenium web driver, interacting web elements, how we perform the actions. The same thing we can do with JavaScript executor also. And one fine day we'll talk about JavaScript executor. How do we identify the elements? How do we write a scripts in using JavaScript executor also? I will tell you that. And, uh, and coming to the Windows components. 
friends my selenium will not automate the windows elements it only automates the web elements only okay now if any window elements are appears uh, during execution of the selenium uh, using the uh, i mean when we are running web applications suddenly some windows elements occurs uh, how can we handle them nothing to worry so we will have uh, some open source windows automation tools are there auto it swiftly robotics like this windows automation tools are there by using any one of the free windows automation tool we can automate and we can execute it so here using auto it i'll tell you how to download how to install how to write auto it code how to compile the code how to associate this auto it code into the web driver script everything we will discuss on it and next come to that uh, automating ta uh, web tables so some of the elements will be present inside the tables like uh, static tables uh, dynamic tables will be there how do we work with the uh, different approaches and uh, uh, in web tables uh, we have a calendars and uh, paginations uh, web tables are there paginations web table means uh, one page well, one table will be there which contains 10 rows only if the 10 rows completed next 11 to 20 has to come so when i click on next button only next page will come next in next page one more table comes which is indexing with 11 to 20 that 20 fill the now next uh, next page i want to go over if i click on next uh, 21 to 30 will come like this web, web table page initials how do we work web tables web calendars static tables dynamic web tables we'll talk about this web table concepts and when we are automating the scripts uh, so each step requires some test data uh, where do we organize the test data there are various data sources are there in that respect to data sources we are going to be organized from there we are taking the to the script like log pg properties files xml files is uh, microsoft excel these are the various data sources where we used to organize our test data in giving to the test case steps so uh, only for uh, this uh, all this data management uh, we'll talk about 7 to 8 hours and next come to the grid so if we want to scale and distribute that you have developed web driver scripts parallelly in many operating systems and many browsers we take support of the grid in grid we used to do some configurations like creating the hub and the nodes and there we pass the desired capabilities desired capabilities we are passing and passing that uh, the hub ip address okay all these things and we take our scripts to execute parallelly in many Uh, um, operating systems and many browsers. So this is what we're going to be discussing the uh, Selenium web driver grid. And let's come to the DevOps. So DevOps is a culture uh, which extends so many components like Selenium. How we have? Yes, DevOps has uh, uh, Ant uh, build tool, Marvin Gradle build tools, and CD/CI pipeline, Jenkins, and uh, uh, we have a SVN and source control tool like SVN, VSS. Okay. Uh, we have um, we have so many um, components are there like uh, Chef, uh, Puppet, Ansible, uh, Docker, Kubernetes, like this, uh, Acrofocus, like this. So many components together we call as a DevOps as culture, where DevOps will be used by the developers, will be used by the testers, will be used by the integration team, will be used by the deployment team. Almost every sector team will be used by uh, use that DevOps. Where testers? we are mainly focused on the com components as marvin build tool and uh, source versioning control tool as github servers github servers and cd ci uh, jenkins and this tool these are the three components which we uh, cover in devops and come to that frameworks uh, we will be covering the uh, test ng Page object model data. And lastly, we do the project. And the benefits, sir. Uh, benefits you get, ah, uh, you'll get soft copy metal. Get soft copy. Metal for Java and Selenium, uh, and uh, recorded videos 
record videos uh, for one year view access and the source code uh, daily whatever daily whatever we build daily whatever we develop the programs for java selenium project every uh, source code i will commit in github server which is uh, 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 server which is repository where uh, everyone can access that uh, code which is available in github server source code uh, will uh, share through github server on daily basis so source code will be shared to github server so daily whatever programs i build in front of you I will commit it in a GitHub server and I will share it to everyone. So that is one of the source for you uh, to practice it. And recorded videos will be having for one year you access uh, and soft copy material for uh, Java and Selenium will be shared to that. And the course duration will be five, five months for code, content course, the code Java, Selenium, DevOps, framework project will take uh, uh, 2.5 months. And the daily Monday to Friday will be the sessions goes on. And occasionally I will take on weekends also only for this grid the Marvel GitHub server Jenkins because these are the configurations where I will not do in my system. I will take any one of you uh, screen share. I will make to happen in your system hands on. You will do that. I will explain from my from my end. So that's what a grid. The, if I talk about grid means uh, it will take four hours to complete the grid concept. So one day I can't uh, complete in one hour, right? And also time will be dragged. That's why only on weekends, out of two and a half months, four weekends, four weekends, I will take uh, uh, to complete this. Marvin setup, GitHub setup, I will take six hours. Jenkins, I will take for six, six to seven hours like this. That's what uh, I'll take uh, four weekends uh, to complete these selected concepts like grid, the Marvin, GitHub, or Jenkins. But remaining uh, all the concepts, I will take regularly Monday to Friday, like two and a half months. I hope everyone understood. What is yes. my right? Oh. Excuse me, sir. When we start this match? From tomorrow. No? Just today. From tomorrow. No? Yes, from tomorrow okay. we are going to start the regular classes. And what's the time? Uh, timing will be same. Uh, eight to nine. Okay. Eight to nine at morning. Yes. yes. Okay. And fee, sir? Uh, fee will be uh, 4,000. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Then. Okay. And so other are also taking means API testing or mobile testing? No, this is purely uh, functional automation testing for Java, okay. Selenium, okay. and project. So if it is, if it is Appian means, uh, that's again 45 days course, that's separate. Okay, if it is uh, you're talking about API, you were talking in this a two or two months of course it was mobile testing is a 40 course database also 45 days course manual testing is the one month course like this okay and some people will take we say like as a combo we will we'll do all those things within three months like this don't trust that kind of uh, uh yeah I, I ask you means you take that also in no, no, separate no I, no 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 oh yeah yeah, but my okay. after completion of that uh, functional automation testing, my suggestion is yeah. you will uh, take one more uh, com one more tool like uh, either mobile testing or API testing that will make value advantage for your resume. Okay. Yeah. But everything is the for everything is the basis as functional automation testing Selenium only. Even to work with, work with the mobile automation, even to work with the, uh, API web services. Uh, the base will be the uh, Selenium function automation tool only. Okay, sir. Excuse Thank me, you. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I have joined a bit later. Can you provide your contact number? You will get the recordings. You will get the recordings. Today we had a demo session. So all end to end what I'm covering uh, for your batch, everything I've given. Yeah, yeah. I have joined uh, this demo session a bit late. Can you provide Can you your contact so that uh, we will no, reach sir. you direct? No, sir. No? Contact will be provided. Uh, you, uh, management will be uh, reaching you directly. So you'll be getting contact through mail only with me. Okay. 
once you have done the payments, uh, you'll be contacting through my mail IDs. So every recordings will be come from me only. Not you know? that. Not that. Just to di to discuss all of those and all. Yeah, yeah. Everything will be get the recording. Okay, you'll be get the recording, sir. Okay. Okay. Sir, for automation test, how much is the fees course? Sir? Four thousand. Four thousand. If combined with manual, uh, manual will be teach by uh, other person, not by me. Okay, okay, okay. It's Total of four, two point two point five months course for automation. Yes, test. yes. Uh, complete uh, core Java, Selenium, DevOps framework, and project end to end. Okay, I need only Selenium with uh, testing, sir. So, Selenium with, with Java only. See, DevOps is part of Selenium, sir. Don't read like this is separate to <laughs> DevOps is part of okay. Without frameworks, we okay. cannot build your programs. And lastly, we do the project for, for you, uh, how you are building the project. Everything is uh, a package, sir. Is nothing is uh, different tools we are giving, sir. It's all is built in. There is no excuse. Okay, these are all five, five things come under uh, automation Selenium. testing. Yes, see, Selenium DevOps will be used by developers, will be used by testers, deployment team. Okay, oh. um, every oh. person is using is DevOps. Here in the testers, we'll be involving in DevOps as Marvin build tool, GitHub uh, distributed server, Jenkins and C pipeline. This common will be used in the DevOps for Selenium. Okay. okay. Where did the setup? Which is component of Selenium. Once you build your programs using WebDriver, we scale and distribute in executing your developer scripts parallelly in many operating system and many browser with the support of Grid. Okay, now nah? offline videos will be available for this, sir. If you miss the class, yes, yes, you'll be getting the recorded videos for one year with access. One year. Okay, batch. Okay. When will uh, be excuse the... me, sir. Sorry? When will yes, the main when will be the main session will start, sir? This is the From tomorrow. From tomorrow. From tomorrow. From tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, sir, how to pay you? Any uh, management will reach you, madam. Management will be communicating you through mail. They'll call you personally also. So okay. you can speak to them, okay? Oh, okay, sir. Okay, then. And sir, how to join daily basis? Because this is a very lengthy process. Yes, this is the link uh, for one week is going to be work. After one week, uh, the link is going to be changed. We'll get the update from the management of change of link. Okay? Nothing to worry. Yeah. And if you start before you join with your mail ID and your name and your phone number, management will uh, personally contact you. Will inform you all the updates regarding the payments and the recording the any milling changes. Everything they will be communicating with you. Okay, na? Any certificate uh, will be there at the end of this yes, course. Yes, course completion certificate. If you request for the management, they will be providing you. But uh, that uh, any any institutes are giving the course completion certificate it doesn't make uh, any value also. Just the people satisfaction. That's it. As I believe, I'm I'm saying that. Okay. Okay. There'll be no value for the certificate if any institutes are providing, okay? Honest, I'm saying that. So many people will be asking like this, will you provide certificate? No use of the certificate, okay? If you want, the commandment will be providing you, not issue for that, okay? Just a contact management. Uh, so, and I'm now working, so I want to change my career in automation. So, can I... Give experience of that means suppose after completion of this course. Sorry, sorry. Miss, I'm now working on manual testing, so I want to change my career in automation. Okay. So means, uh, so I give that experience for this course. Not required. You can put your manual testing as just put like you work for how many years to six years you have been in this uh, testing, right? No, no, no. I have two year experience in manual. No issues. You can put like a two months as a manual testing, one and a half year as a automation. That's it. Enough. Close. Genuine company you have. 
Okay, no need to go for uh, extra certificate also, right? You have genuine experience for two years. You better keep, uh, you work as a engineer for two years. Otherwise, uh, six months for uh, manual testing. See, nowadays there is no matter of uh, manual testing automation. You are as an automation engineer, that's it. All is okay. I, Earlier, the people manual testing separate team, uh, automation separate team, uh, performance separate team like this, it was there. Now it is not like that. All rounder. One person works for n number of rules. Okay, na? Oh. Keep work for manual, you work for automation past two years. Nothing matters. It's a genuine, right? Genuine. No, no, no. When they called, uh, they asked, now what is the relevant experience in automation? That's why I asked. Oh, then you can put like uh, a starting agile for manual testing. Later, I uh, I was uh, trained and I was uh, shifted to the automation pass for an appeal. We can keep that notation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. No, no. Yeah. Nothing matters. So, and one more thing. And so, I, only one guy is there tonight. Sorry? Sorry? Means morning batch is there only, not that evening batch. Uh, no, madam. No evening batch right now, currently. Only the morning batch we have. Okay. Okay, no problem there. Okay? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay friends, uh, if we don't have any queries, we are good to stop for today. Shall I? Yeah, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Thank you, friends. Time, you know. Yes. Tomorrow at what time can you start the session? Same timing, uh, 8 to 9, 8 to 9. We started the session 8. Of course, I'm having some technical issues. I joined a little bit of 15 minutes late, I guess, myself, because some technical issue I faced. Management has helped me to solve that problem. So sharp 8, 8 means 8, 5 by 8, 5 going to be start. I start meeting by 8 o'clock. The exact uh, class will start on uh, 8, 5. But tomorrow right. only for paid persons. Yeah, first two three class will be uh, free only. Third third class you have to pay the fees. Okay. That means uh, tomorrow will be third class. Huh? Today's second. Today's first class, sir. Sir, this can you hear me? Yes, 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 ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma sir. Yes. Actually, uh, what has happened is like uh, uh, since I'm working now and my the new project I've been assigned and for that I'm learning for this course and in case if I'm doing if I get some error or if I need some help or support uh, can I contact you? Uh, madam, uh, I will I will tell you. So the, if anybody wants any job supports, I can refer some other persons. Okay. 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 Have any issues? Okay, uh, I'll I'll give you some reference number. You can contact them. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, Thank you so much. Yeah.
Okay, fine. So how many of you uh, freshers? How many are working employees? Uh, I am working. You're working employee. Okay, so yeah, fine. So working as a manual tester? Uh, yes, sir. Most is okay. manual. Okay. What about others? Everyone is fresh or anybody is working employee? No issues. Of course. So, uh, friends, brief myself. My name is Ravikant. Ravikant Rela. I'm your uh, senior mentor. So, I was uh, giving you a course for a complete package for Selenium automation, like Java, Selenium, DevOps, framework, and project. End to end, I was going to uh, deliver for you batch. So, um, most of the people will have a question. Uh, who can take this course? Who can take this course? Selenium automation. Yes, the people who are freshers, the people who are experienced, the people who are non IT. Yes, any kind of people are eligible for to take this course. Okay. And next question is, what is the prerequisite to take the Selenium automation? Yes, some programming knowledge is like required for to take this Selenium automation. Yes, what kind of languages? Uh, the Selenium supports means it supports Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, R language, R language, Dart, Scala, PHP. Uh, P okay, what is that? Uh, R language, Dart language, Scala, PHP, uh, Go programming, Haskell. Etc. Etc. Many more languages are supported uh, to work with the Selenium tool. Selenium is a tool which associated with some languages. Any one of language you prefer uh, uh, to develop your uh, using Selenium automation too. So as this course is uh, designed for uh, Java with the Selenium, so we go first with the core Java. Hello, ma'am. Uh, well, actually, Selenium tool. Uh, yesterday night. Uh, friends, getting some uh, Kindly, so can you please? So, actually, he has studied for the unit test. Can he write the unit test and come back? Uh, not in the classroom, at least in the office. Okay. Core Java and Selenium and uh, DevOps and uh, framework and uh, project. So these things we are covering our course so first we'll start with code java because uh, if you want to become as a good programmer if you want to become as a good automation engineer you must be technically sounds good technical in the sense what what language you are using to build your automation scripts that language you must be uh, perfect in that so i can show you the official website for selenium will be the selenium.dev is an official website so here we go. In the banner we can see Selenium automates browsers. That's it. What you do with that power is entirely up to you. Friends, Selenium is an automation tool which automates browsers only. Browsers means web applications. The applications which are open through browser, those are called web applications. So my Selenium 100% automates only uh, web applications, not a window desktop application. That's it. Selenium automates browsers. That's it. What you do with that power is entirely up to you. The power is nothing but not a boost, not a multi. Yes, the thing is, the power of that is for Selenium is language binding. Any one of language you can prefer uh, in knowing the concepts, then we can using the Selenium tool, we can build any automation scripts. So we prefer Core Java as a, a base programming language for work with Selenium. Yes. What concepts in Core Java will be learning? Yes. So we'll be learning about what is a project, what is a package, what is a Java class, interfaces, abstract classes, method of overloading, overriding, overriding rules, polymorphism, constructors, loopings, decision making statements, single dimensional array, two dimensional array, user defined array, if conditions. Okay, uh, switch cases, decision making statements, loopings, 
scalar classes, variable types, data types and its default values, type cast, Java inheritance, axis, non-axis modifiers. Okay, na? Strings, uh, Java strings, uh, debugging, exception handling, collections, file systems. All these concepts will be covered. What are the concepts I, de I have de delivered right now? Each and every concepts we are, uh, will be uh, have the uh, knowledge on it. So after completion of this Java only, we'll go with the Selenium because what to do, when to do, how to do, if you know, know the concepts of core Java, how can you build that? So here, Banner, it was clearly saying that what you do with that power is entirely up to you. The power is nothing but uh, the program knowledge. Whatever the program you selected to build your Selenium automation sweeps on that program, core, core OOPS concepts must be aware of it. Even if you want to become as a good programmer in development aspect or testing aspect, uh, programming knowledge is must that too. Oops concepts. Any programming language, uh, oops concepts is a basic oops concepts is required to work with the Selenium. Okay, now. So uh, here, friends, uh, uh, I will give very clear picture on each and every concept in Java concepts, whatever I, I have discussed right now. Uh, I'll give the concept and I'll give some assignments, um, pro references for practicing the programs. Technically, you must be sounds good, means not knowing the, knowing the concepts. You must be also aware of doing the programs also. Okay, now I'll make hands free uh, how to work with programs also while giving the concepts. And after that, um, one more struggle people will face uh, like uh, troubleshootings. Okay, once you know the concepts, where to do, how to do, when to do, when you come to know, then you start writing the programs. Okay, uh, yes, uh, when you write the programs, when we uh, run the programs, there is a chance of occurring of runtime errors in the runtime, right? So we would we would have to uh, um, diagnose that. We have to diagnose it where exactly the issue was. So most of the people will uh, struggle there itself. And he's seeing here and there who will support us. So don't take anyone's support friends. It just make friendship with the debugging. Okay, <laughs> so debugger is one of the uh, uh, where it supports to debug that, uh, supposed to debug that your test case chips. Suppose we have 20 lines of, uh, 20 sequence lines uh, of one program is there. Suppose in 20 lines, uh, suppose at particular eighth line, some issue occurred, uh, where it is, what, what it is, we don't know. So exactly we have to find where it is exactly. So while uh, debugging step-by-step -step execution only, we'll come to know where exactly the issue was. We can troubleshoot easily. So how to debug the scripts also, I will tell you that. So I'll tell you the basic concepts of uh, language and uh, I'll give some assignments and I'll, I will make you understand how to debug the scripts um, step by step, everything, I'll give a very clear picture on it. So once after completion of core Java, then we go with the Selenium automation tool. Of course, we have various automation tools are available in the market, but Selenium has become more popular uh, so it's a user friendly and we under uh, we have so many components uh, third party tools are which are supported to build a uh, selenium day to day yes let me show you that friends in selenium is a tool which has some components which has some components selenium web driver selenium id and selenium grid of course we also have selenium rc also rc means remote controller okay web driver ID grid RC, but RC got deprecated friends. Only the three components are available in Selenium: Selenium Web Driver, Selenium ID, and Selenium Grid. The first first component in Selenium was Selenium IDE. So Selenium IDE, if you want to work with a, not required any programming knowledge. Uh, what I said, Java, C Sharp, Ruby, no programming knowledge is required when we are working with the Selenium components. Uh, IDE. It's a just a record and playback tool. It's a just a record and playback tool. Just you record it. Whatever steps you are supposed to be do before doing that, just start recording and do operations, whatever you want to do. All the statements will be recorded. The last you stop it. Then you play it. Record and playback tool. Just record, do transaction, stop recording and playback. Record and playback tool. Not require any programming knowledge. By default, the backend it 